picture. Take the picture. So it's raining outside at the moment. Well, it's not raining inside, obviously. But I really wanted to do this levitation uh, little how-to tutorial thing outside where the scenery would have been a lot better and probably would have been something that I might have stuck up on Instagram. But it is raining and I can't go outside. So I'm gonna to have to do it in here in my uh, little office space that I have at home and hopefully you can learn from that. So let's crack on with it. So I have picked out an area in this, uh, in this little space of mine and um, it's going to be around here. I'll just uh, move my camera down. So it's going to be around that area there. So the first thing we got to do is take a photo take a photo that was me moving the mic by the way if you heard a big rustling noise take a photo of this area in manual mode now we need two pictures the exact same with the exact same settings because you want the light to be the same you can't really uh, play with it so I will post a photo of the settings that I'm using for handiness so you can take a screenshot of it or whatever and uh, try and work it use that as a base for yourself and uh, then I will take a photo of me striking out like a weird pose like if I slipped on a banana peel or something um, we will bring them into Photoshop and see what happens from there so time to take the photo So this is what I'm going to be using for me to sit on, pretend I'm floating, just a, a little wire bin. A stool would have been better because you can get that much height in it, but uh, this will do. This will do perfect. This is a lot harder than what I thought. Oh. Maybe it's better that I'm not honest, dude. Take the picture! Take the picture! And that's it. Now that we've brought in our two images, we have myself there looking like I slipped on a banana skin. And the other one is just basically the background of what we're using. So if we select our uh, the one that we're posing in and using the move tool, we click on it, drag it up to the other image, drag it back down, let go, and now we have both images in our uh, selection group here. So if I turn this on and off, you can see that everything has matched up perfectly and it's just myself on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the quick selection tool, go up to select subject, now this Photoshop should do its best to select myself here. It'll probably select the bin as well, yeah. And I can see my hand here is a little bit wrong. So we're gonna zoom in. Move it over. And if we hold on the shift key and just move our selection, what we want. So it's all selected. There we go. And my thumb as well here. And this part 
one as well and get and get everything in there. Always fingers need to be done. My knuckle, the other knuckle. Now it doesn't matter if some of these aren't selected because we can just clear that up in a few seconds. So we zoom back out. And now if we click select inverse the selection, so everything's selected for myself now. And all I'm going to do is take the eraser to uh, make it a bit bigger. So we can do this quickly and rub everything out apart from myself. You can see I'm going over it here and that there should reveal everything underneath. And now it's just command D to deselect it. And there you go. Now I'm just going to zoom in again because the bin should not be here. And I'm going to get rid of that by using the eraser tool. Let's just make it a bit smaller so we can see what I'm working with. There we go. And I'm just going to take my time working around my, uh, my derriere. Area uh, because we don't want hardly any bins shown. That's all right. You can you can you get the gist of it. You can uh, spend a lot longer at this and perfecting it a little bit better. Now, if we move up here to this uh, darker area around my hand, we can now just rub out everything that was here that we selected accidentally and make that a bit smaller so we can get in tight there we go i'm trying to do this as fast as i can so you guys aren't sitting there bored watching me rub out stuff And like I said before, take your time doing this because the more precise you are, the better the image will be. I'm just toggling back and forward through the sizes of the, the brushes here so it gets a bit faster. And that's cool. That'll do. And there we go. So now we're all set. Apart from below here, we need a little shadow just to make it more believable that we are floating. So I'm going to hit on the background layer and we're going to use our dodge and burn tool here. And we're just going to just slightly color in some darkness where my shadow would be. Well, no, it would be a little shadow as well. Like around there, maybe even here. So that looks good to me. And there we go. Perfect. So what we're going to go now is we're going to go to our layers and we want to flatten these layers so they become one image. And here you can see is all flattened into the background. So this now, these two images have become one. So now we can go into our filter, camera raw filter, and we can adjust the colors and make it what we want. So I'm going to whack down the highlights and I'm going to bring up the shadows. And now a wee bit of clarity, never hurt anyone. And we're going to make it a little bit bluer there we go. And now we go into our hue and saturation. Now you can see yesterday was a good day because I'm burned. And we're going to go to the reds. We're going to go to saturation. I'm bring down the saturation in the reds so I don't look as red anymore, which is perfect. We'll go back to hues. We'll make the blues a little bit on the tail side. We're going to add in 
a little vignette on top up here it's just so it makes me stand out a bit more and one on the bottom like so we'll hit okay on that so we went from that to this is looking good looking good and now I'm just going to crop it because there's a lot of space here that we don't need with that thing we don't need to see the thing so I'll just crop that a bit and I might get rid of uh, this box as well and we'll do that and there you go now you can add in more uh, detail if you wish on this to make it more standard actually I'm going to get rid of this section here this box is annoying me so I'm basically just going to go let's try out the patch to see how that works so we'll just draw around it we take it we select it see and we let go and boom control D as well D selects that done a good job actually I'm quite surprised at that and uh, yeah what else can we do in this photo now just to make it stand out a bit more Let's see our adjustments layer if we can actually use any of these 3D LUTs. So I go down to my old favorite. Yeah, no, that's working good. That's working good. I like this. And if we click on the plus sign to create a new layer, we go to our bucket. I've got my tail already. Click on that. Let's bring that down to about 2 2%. Yeah, I like that. I think uh, we might, if you click on the our layer again, and just to darken up the image here, make it stand out a bit more. There we go. That looks that looks the business now. Perfect. And there we go and that is it done and ready for Instagram whatever um, yeah so guys that's it for uh, another video um, first things first uh, sorry about the audio but I've had to revert to using my phone because uh, my batteries died on my camera and I forgot to charge the rest yeah yeah but anyway my phone uh, has taken me out of a pickle yet again and uh, yeah it's perfect but I've got the settings that I used for my two images which are, are right here on the side of the screen and um, you can use these as a base to work around but keep in mind no matter what situation you're in your settings are going to be a little bit different and um, as long as you keep the same settings for both images you can't go wrong other than that, you should be fine. Um, here are the images that I took. Now, one of them is just a basic me floating that you see me edit. But then, um, once I finished editing, um, I came up with this other idea, um, which is this one. It's kind of like uh, if I'm being teleported or some kind of alien and being being be, beaming me up. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you want to leave down in the comments which one you like better, yeah, it'll help. Um, I'm going to use the, the Beam Me Up one as my thumbnail, I think. I think it's more, uh, tell us a bit of more of the story. And uh, yeah, so if you find this uh, video helpful and interesting, give it a like and a thumbs up. And also subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.